Maurice, tonight police are still here outside the home. This investigation is far from over. Neighbors say they got a sinking feeling when they saw the police presence outside this particular house earlier today. The sight of police officers and crime scene tape around the home at 466 East 2nd Street in Kensington, Brooklyn, brings back painful memories for many neighbors. It was once the scene of a crime that rocked the Jewish community when a nine-year-old boy disappeared from nearby Borough Park. It's been so long, so to reawaken that sense of fear, it is, it is difficult. It was a sad event. It was really sad. You know, it actually touched my heart, you know, because, like, it was a little boy and, like, his family was crying. Libby Kletsky was walking home from day camp when he vanished in the summer of 2011. After a community-wide search effort, police later discovered Kletsky's dismembered body in the attic of the Kensington home. The man who lived there, Levi Aaron, confessed and pleaded guilty to the crime. Now, almost six years later, another body found inside the home. Police sources tell CBS2 it's that of Levi Aaron's brother, 29 year old Jack Aaron. He was reported missing earlier this week. Somebody said they found a body in the basement. Police say the body was discovered by another relative who called 911. It's frightening. Um, it's not something you expect to see when you come home. The circumstances around the death, suspicious to say the least, but police have stopped short of calling it a murder. The mystery stirring up anxiety for a community that hasn't forgotten the past. It's really unfortunate that something like this would happen again. Um, you know, my condolences go out to the family of whoever is, you know, whoever's related to the person. The medical examiner will now determine the cause of death in this case, and that in turn will determine if this case becomes a homicide investigation. Reporting live in Kensington, Brooklyn, Valerie Castro, CBS 2 News. Okay, Valerie. Levy Aaron is currently serving a sentence of 40 years to life in prison for the murder of little Libby Kleski.